Good afternoon. Welcome to Monthly's World of Weather. You clicked on to the long range weather forecast discussion for July 3rd to the 17th. For July 3rd to the 7th, we have a ridge forecast over West Central Canada. You can see it here. And with the trough in the east. And this trough will lift out and result in a, ladder, in a flatter flow as we go through the period. So we get to the end of the period. This is what we're looking for. The ridge kind of still lingers here. Now, the heat wave over the northwest is expected to be less intense as the ridge weakens. However, triple digit heat will still be like across Ontario areas through the weekend and into early next week. And we'll take a look at the temperature anomalies. Let's see. Okay, these are the temperature anomalies. See, we're into Monday next week, still got 103. Parts of Washington State, 101. And uh, Idaho, uh, 100 degrees in parts of Nevada, still 109. Parts of North Central uh, California, and you see we have 101 here. Parts of uh, Texas, and you can see that we still have heat to contend with here. Now, um, Some of the heat was spread into northern plains, and temperatures in the northwest to the northern plains would be about 10 to 15 degrees above normal by Tuesday. And we'll take a look at the anomalies. We have the anomaly map. Okay. We'll go Monday. Okay, Monday. We are Tuesday. This is the temperature anomalies here. And some rain would be possible over the northern Rockies. May offer some relief to the heat, but do little to ease the drought. And we're going to take a look at the drought monitor that just came out today. We still have areas of exceptional to extreme drought in parts of the west. Take a look at that. And now we're going to look at the period for July 8th to the 12th. And the westerlies are forecast to be across southern Canada and the northern states with uh, near to above normal heights across much of the country. Flow looks something like this. We have, here's our ridge across the uh, southern U.S. So for this forecast period, I'm calling for above normal temperatures for this region and I'm calling for anomalies of 6 to 12 degrees will be possible across the area. Highest anomalies across here. And for precipitation, call for below normal precipitation for the western states. Probability of occurrence is 35 to 55 percent, highest across here. And we have above normal precipitation forecast for this region here. Probability of occurrence is 35 to is, is 35 percent. Now looking ahead for the period for July 13th to the 17th. You see a little overall change here. Some of the models are showing the strengthening of the ridge here across the west. That's possible. And uh, due to all the dryness out here. So for this forecast period, I'm calling for above normal temperatures for much of this region here. And I'm calling for anomalous be up to, uh, up to 12 degrees or more be across portions of the northwest and the northern Rockies. And for precipitation, calling for below normal precipitation for the western states and the central and northern plains. Probability of occurrence is 35 to 55 percent. Okay, taking a look at the tropics, we're going to take a look here. Okay, this is um, MVES as a 2 p.m. And this area's disturbed weather has become better organized. And now, um, the Hurricane Center gives it, let me see, okay, I see, 70% um, chance to develop in the next 70, in the next 48 hours, and 90% of the next five days. And we'll take a look at the satellite imagery. And here it is right here, 70% chance. So we have to watch and see, uh, watch this in the coming days. So that's the long range weather forecast discussion for July 3rd to the 17th. Thanks for coming to Jim World of Weather and have a good day.